88 out of Iowa's 99 counties have rejected at least some or all of their vaccine allotment this week. That includes all Iowa counties here in Siouxland. KCA 9 reporter Hannah Adamson joins us this evening to explain why there is that dip in numbers and what Siouxland District Health is doing to respond. It's in our top story tonight at 10. Tim and Sophie, Siouxland District Health Department Director Kevin Green tells me it's not for a lack of vaccines. Folks aren't getting one. Rather, a lack of people willing to show up with open arms. And even though Woodbury County rejected its total allotment for the week of May 2nd, Siouxland District Health still has 8,000 doses at the ready. We are not having the demand we previously did. Kevin Green says roughly 30% of Woodbury County has been vaccinated, nowhere near the 70% he would like to see. We do not want to stockpile vaccine. We want to make sure it goes to places that still have individuals getting interested in being vaccinated. Green says Siouxland District Health is continuing to push the need to get vaccinated to underserved communities. There are certain individuals we know that with just the, um, the diversity within our community, I think it's making sure that have we reached out to them and attempted to educate them in basically their native language. Green says besides vaccine hesitancy, another barrier to getting the shot is scheduling conflicts. Have we made it available outside of work hours for people that do work to be able to get into the clinics or to be able to get the vaccine? However, a potential step forward in the vaccination effort could help prevent another surge in cases. I think the 12-year-olds were looking potentially for approval of that or the Pfizer vaccine um, potentially by the end of May. And with a number of outdoor large-scale events planned for this summer, Green says if you're not feeling well then, stay home. If we can just take those precautions, I think those are things that can kind of continue this navigation towards more normalcy. The state of Iowa will also be turning down roughly 70% of its vaccine supply from the federal government next week.